837 right now, Merriman's is requiring all of their workers to be vaccinated with the ongoing high COVID-19 cases. Yeah, and they're their first restaurant to do so. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from the Ward Village area with more details. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christina Kelly. Yes, we've been hanging out here at Merriman's Hawaii in the Ward Village area. And I actually spoke with Peter Merriman, who is a chef and owner of the restaurants across the state, who explains a little bit about this decision and the process will go. Take a listen. We're in this pandemic for a long time yet to come. And here in Hawaii, we need to set up a strategy, a business strategy that allows us to continue to operate, to do business over a long period of time. And I think it's also really important that we want to keep the people who work in this industry as safe as we possibly can. I feel like that's my duty to keep it as safe as I can for employees. And then when it came to the feedback from your employees, did anyone have questions about HR or whether this was legal or not? Yeah, um, some did. And our knowledge is that, um, you know, companies can decide what they want. Um, the, the debate is over whether a government is able to mandate or not, but a company can mandate if they choose. Once again, that was Chef Peter and also the owner of Merriman Hawaii, all the locations across the state with my conversation yesterday. But here joining us on Take Two, we've got Chef Vince. Good morning, Chef. How's it going? Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having us here on Take Two. This looks delicious. We'll talk about it in just a sec. But uh, what are your thoughts and reactions to this new rule in place, and how does it affect your team? I think it's great. Um, we were all pretty much fortunate enough to be vaccinated months ago. Um, it just really gives that sense of uh, safety in the kitchen and knowing that your fellow co-workers are going to be at work because they're safe and healthy. And from what's been told to us, you all would be the first restaurant to kind of take these steps. Do you think more restaurants or social establishments will kind of follow the same way? Yeah, I definitely do. I mean, I think that for the guests visiting and the kitchen alike, that it just gives everybody that sense of urgency or sense of um, safety to be in our kitchens and be in dining in our restaurants. All right, and really quickly here, tell us of the dishes that we're seeing, and you could just top them off for us. Uh, right here, we got a little bit of uh, Oahu shrimp truck prawns, a little bit of garlic butter on top, mm, local cabbage delicious. slaw underneath. Uh, that's finished off with a little bit of toasted garlic and fresh parsley. Perfect. And then this one over here is uh, sustainably raised salmon, macadamia nut crusted, with some pan-roasted Pukalani Farms broccoli and Hokkaido rice, and that's finished off with a little bit of local mushroom oh, and beautiful. sake sauce. Beautiful and available here at Merriman's Hawaii Ward Village location. And you could just take a look around that still restaurants are operating at 50% capacity and all the tables are practicing the social distancing. So we know this from this pandemic. So if there is anything new or any developments that does come up, will definitely be posted first in our future newscast and online at kh12.com. Reporting from Merriman's Hawaii, Dallas Navarro, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you, Dallas. 841 right now and coming up.